Greetings. Get ready to embark on an extraordinary journey, exploring the world of Git version control. More specifically, Git T. We get to self-host Git T, installing it in a VM in our Proxmox server. You will need this to keep track of the versions of your configuration files of the apps in your home lab. You get to keep your code and configurations private with Git T, whereas with GitHub, Microsoft has access to your code and files. We get to install the newest version of Git T fresh off the press. You won't believe how simple this is. In this video, we have two options for Git T, one for the home lab and one for your business. For our Docker enthusiasts, we provide instructions to install this using Docker. So, buckle up and prepare to be amazed by the brilliance of this video. Now, without further ado, allow me to introduce you to our Proxmox expert, Nico. Please note that Nico has a charming Dodecanese European accent, but fear not he speaks the Queen's English fluently. Over to you, Nico. Thank you, Joe. Hi there. Today we are going to install GitT. GitT enables the creation and management of repositories based on Git. It also makes code review incredibly easy and convenient and in this case, we are going to be self-hosting our own Git repository. Many companies don't like to use GitHub and prefer to self-host their own Git servers. This is what GitT gives us. And what's more, GitT is an open source project. So if we go to their website, gitt.com, you can see they have different options. GitT is the free service which you can self-host on your server. GitT also provides good documentation, including the installation procedures. We have done our research and we have published our installation procedures in our blog. We provide a link to our blog below we recommend that you do this installation by following us. It all starts here with the download page and here you select your OS. In our case, we are going to install GitT in a Linux VM in our Proxmox server. So that is the URL that we are going to use. And to save you time, we've already put this URL in our blog. Our instructions are quite comprehensive and this will make the installation very simple. Follow these instructions exactly as they are here and when you reach the end you will have a working Git T server in your Proxmox. First I need to create a VM and as we have mentioned before in our previous videos we are not going to show you how to create the VM. We have links below to show you how to do that if you don't know. To save time, we've created an Ubuntu server template and it's as simple as this. You clone this template. It needs to be a full clone, not a linked clone. And that's it. Now the clone is being created. And now we have a GitT server VM. Click on console. Start now. Now we log in. Notice we don't use a root user to log into the server. Enough said. All I need from this is the IP address. So IP space A. And it's the last three digits I'm looking at. One, two, three. So we can now close this and open a terminal. And we've logged in, go back to our instructions. I'm just going to reduce this so that we can copy and paste. 
we need to be root user, so copy the command, paste, and now we are root, let's clear the screen, with all new VMs you always need to run this, apt update, That's fine. We want to install nano, copy. Yes. Let's clear the screen. Now these are important. You need to create these folders here. and this one and this one and then going to the git folder Now if you remember over here we got the URL, so here we are going to do wget. Let's see what's in this folder now. We have just downloaded Gitty. There it is. Now we want to run this command. It's going to copy it into the user local bin folder. And it's going to rename it as Gitty. Now we need to make this executable. Now we need to verify that Git is working. Git double dash version. Now we need to create a user and the user is called Git. So copy this command. We need to make this Gitty folder here owned by Gitty. So copy this command. Chown or Chown, change ownership. Create these folders. Own this folder as well. As well as this folder. We use chmod to modify the access to this folder. as well as this and this command now we need to create the git service copy this command and paste this into the file
Control S to save and X to exit. We are now going to run these two commands. And when we run the second command, it's going to hang. It's waiting for us to configure it in the browser, which will be the next instruction. So let's first run this command. Then run this command. Now, once we run this command, it's going to hang. So we will then open the browser to the port 3000 for the IP address. And now machine is IP123. As we had used this to test to confirm that the process works, to save you time. Now that we are waiting for that, let's open this in the browser. And change this to 1, 2, 3. We now have a form that we have to fill in. If it's a business server, you would want to use a database. As it's a home lab, I'm going to be using SQL Lite. That's all I need to do. We don't need to create an administrator user. The first user that logs in becomes administrator. So now click install Git and wait. And we're in. What you need to do is you need to register. We did not create an admin user, so you cannot log in with this. So you need to go here and then give yourself a username. We won't be using emails on this server. So I'm just putting an arbitrary email address there, but it's important to give it a good password. And now we register. And now this user is the administrator of the server. We have not forgotten our Docker fans. For you, we have provided a link here that you can do the installation using Docker. However, for us, the installation we did was so simple that we felt it wasn't necessary to go with this installation. We trust you found this useful. Please give us a like and please subscribe to our channel. We haven't reached our target yet. And with that, over to you, Josh. Thank you for watching this video, exploring the world of Git. To install Git T in your Proxmox VMs, we got to install and self-host the newest version of Git T fresh off the press. You will need this to keep track of the versions of your configuration files of the apps in your home lab. You get to keep your code and configurations private with Git T, whereas with GitHub, Microsoft has access to your code and files. You gotta see how simple this is to install our way. For our Docker enthusiasts, we provide instructions to install this using Docker. If you have not given us a like, please do so. Your dedication to exploring Proxmox's capabilities is invaluable. Stay tuned for more insights, automation, and empowerment through its incredible tools for your home lab. Please like and comment to share your feedback and suggestions for our channel. If you found this video valuable, consider subscribing to stay updated with our latest content and tutorials, ensuring you never miss out on informative videos. Your support is crucial for our channel's growth. For those eager to deepen their knowledge, consider becoming a Patreon supporter for exclusive access to upcoming training courses, enriching your expertise, and supporting the channel. We genuinely appreciate your support, and look forward to sharing more enriching content with you. Stay curious, keep exploring, and continue harnessing Proxmox's remarkable potential in your home lab and DevOps journey. Thank you for being part of our community.